it was a unique and extraordinary occasion when history and mystery came together Isaiah's prophecy was fulfilled and the world was changed forever let us revisit that precious event that occurred a long time ago in Bethlehem was an expectancy in the air a host of angels waiting on the moment suddenly the heavens were filled with glorious sound hark can you hear the angels sing hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled, joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord, 
latent time behold him come, offspring of the favored one, wailed in flesh the God at sea, hail incarnate deity, pleased as man with man to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. with healing in his wings. Mild he leaves his throne on high, born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of world, born to give them second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn King. Jesus is born. Mary's yes made possible the incarnation of God's Son and our salvation. Gabriel's message becomes reality. is now and for all time the mother of God. Mama Mary, how did that make you feel? Blessed are you among all women, O Virgin Mary, for you were called to bear God's Son. And through you, yes, Filled with the Holy Spirit, you gave the world, you gave the world, the anointed one. Tell me, how did it feel? How did it feel? How did it feel? Oh, Mama, Mama Mary, you bring us joy. 
was the one Tell me how did it feel How did it feel Oh mama Mama Mary You bring us joy Peace and love Oh mama Mama Mary Your little boy Your little boy Soon to be our Savior Soon to be our Savior as Mary gazes at her infant son with love, we too look at that helpless babe and feel the awe of the miracle. We ask in wonder, what child is this? What child is this who makes to rest on Mary's lap is Powerful message resounds through all the earth on this sacred night. Our King, the Son of God is born and all of creation rejoices. We join this paean of praise as our hearts swell with joy for angels we have heard on high. Angels we have heard on high sweetly sing
from this night onward, we look to a future in which peace is restored, the wounds of sin healed, the chains of oppression broken, and the law of love prevails. Our weary world has a reason to rejoice for this, O holy night. O holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Only the world in sin and error mind till he the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks the new and glorious morn. While recalling the joy of Christ's birth, we also acknowledge our ransom that he paid on the cross, and we offer homage in the first Noel. Thank you. 
it is time to invite the whole world to join the holy family and the shepherds as we worship at the manger in bethlehem oh come all ye faithful come let us adore him christ the lord
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Christmas is a feast of great joy for us and for the whole family as we experience family togetherness. For the church, as we gather to praise God at the birth of our Savior. And for the world, as it receives its precious Savior. We rejoice that God comes to be with us. He is Emmanuel, the Word become flesh. The Son of God, our Savior, is born today. It is indeed a time of celebration, despite the restrictions, despite all the difficulties of the pandemic, we come to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who bring good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. The voice of your watchmen, they lift up their voice, Together they sing for joy, for eye to eye they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord had barred his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to God's word is... Together, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy. Salvation. Our response All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known to us His salvation and deliverance to the nations. He has remembered His merciful love and His truth for the house of Israel. Our response? All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, sing out your praise. Break forth into joyous singing. Our response? All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed the heir of all things, through whom also He created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of His nature. And He upholds the universe by the word of His power. After making purification for sins, He sat down at the right hand of the Majesty on high 
and having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you O Lord in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was in the beginning with God all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The pandemic has caused the world to stop. Lacks of people were struck by the virus and they did not survive. Millions have suffered so many hardships and inconvenience. The pandemic has disrupted our daily routine. But no matter how gloomy the scenario seems, our faith in God remains as firm as ever. We do not despair. The light of faith glows in the darkness. God does not abandon us. God did not abandon us or the whole of humanity when we were in sin. He sent his son to save us and so we rejoice at that good news. That flame of hope, that lamp of joy cannot be extinguished. We celebrate the birth of our Savior. How will we celebrate this event within this scenario? Firstly, we give glory to God. And secondly, we behold something new, a new phase of salvation history. We give glory to God 
in a special way on Christmas Day. All through the season of Advent, we did not sing the Gloria on Sundays. And today, the hymn of praise resounded with joy as we repeated the words of the angels. With the birth of our Savior, earth is united with heaven. We join the angels in praising God. And that is what every Eucharistic celebration must be. Earth joined with heaven. A foretaste of heaven where the whole community joins together, united in glorifying and praising God. The first reading from the prophet Isaiah speaks of the joy that the people will experience. The birth of Jesus invites us to get our focus right. Our joy is because our Savior is born for us. We give glory to God. We praise Him. This is something that we will do all our life. And this is something that we look forward to doing for all eternity. This act of glorifying God must continue in our daily life. We glorify God in the liturgy with one voice when we gather together to praise and worship Him. We are called to glorify the Lord also with one mind and one heart. And this means that we are to be united together, to collaborate, to support one another, to help out, to interact, to share. Mary has a very special role in the birth of the Savior. And today as we celebrate Christmas, we look to her to see how we are to glorify God. While we admire our mother for her response to the call and the mission of God, let us ask her to help us to say yes to God's plan, to welcome God's project in our lives with sincere humility and courageous generosity. When we collaborate with God's plan as Mary did, we glorify God. We praise him and we say yes to his will. We say yes to all that he asks of each one of us. By our deeds, by our words, we are called to glorify the Lord in every situation, in all our daily activities, in our thoughts, in our actions, in our words, in our plans. The good news of Jesus' birth touches the poor, the needy, those who are looked down upon. We are to communicate to them the joy of Christmas. Christmas is a time when we think of the less fortunate and we share with them generously. It is a time of bringing joy to those neglected by society. And this year, in a very special way, we are called to reach out to those who have been directly affected by the coronavirus pandemic. Even in our own neighborhood and parish, there will be some for whom Christmas will not be so joyful. It surely will be different for them because of the pandemic, possibly because of the death of a loved one, or maybe because they are in some crisis or in some great pain because of the consequences of the pandemic. This is, there is this beautiful custom of showing our concern at Christmas time, showing our solidarity with those who are sad or suffering or those who are mourning. We go out and visit them and we bring them some sweets that we have made as a sign that we are present with them in their suffering, that we are in solidarity with them in their moment of sadness. May we truly then express our concern during this time of the pandemic for those who have suffered, those who have experienced a loss. Thereby we express that we are one community. We give glory to God with one voice, with one heart, with one mind. A second dimension of the incarnation is that it brings a new phase in salvation history. With the Incarnation, we witness something radically different, something totally unheard of. The Gospel according to John tells us, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In our second reading, the letter to the Hebrews, we heard how God spoke in various ways in the past, through creation, through events, through the prophets, till finally, God speaks to us through His Son. 
in the incarnation he becomes a human being jesus becomes one of us and therefore christmas calls us to something new something new around us something new within us we are invited to move to a higher level of our relationship with god god shares himself with us and as the opening prayer says he lifts us so that our humanity may participate in his divinity god reveals himself in the person of jesus and so we can know god and his plan for us we rejoice as we receive this communication from god and we are called to share this joy with others the church has the role of communicating the good news to others of what we have known as john 1:14 tells us the word became flesh and dwelt among us a few years ago in his message pope francis quoted pope saint paul the 6th saying that god could have come in various ways wrapped up in glory in splendor in light in power to instill fear in people and to make us rub our eyes in amazement but instead he came as the smallest the frailest the weakest of beings why so that nobody would be ashamed to approach him so that no one would be afraid so that all would feel close to him and draw near to him so there would be no distance between god and us jesus' birth bridges the distance between god and us he comes to communicate god's love and ironically that will lead to the cross but that is the way of salvation that god chose the pandemic has taught us many things and among these one of them is the value of communication we took our communication our interactions our meetings for granted and now during the pandemic when there are restrictions when we cannot meet as we did earlier when we find it so difficult to interact we realize the value of communication during this time we tried our best to communicate we called up those who were alone in homes and i know that many priests many parish council members many scc coordinators did this they called up people who were alone the elderly and said we are there for you do you need our help we tried to connect with our loved ones who were far away we tried to reassure them that even though they are far away we are still close to them and we even connected with god through various ways but we long for the day when we will be able once again to gather together that we will share and interact and communicate directly face to face because that is how god chose to communicate with us by becoming a person in jesus we thank the lord for this great event the incarnation it tells us of the extent to which god goes to communicate his love for us there is no distance between god and us now the christmas story that we hear every year is the same but we are different surely this year because of the pandemic we have maybe learned some new things we have made new friends but many of us have suffered some loss or the other but no matter what changes have happened in our life the feast of christmas fills us with joy because god comes to be one of us our god is emmanuel he is with us we celebrate the incarnation as we partake of this eucharist may we thank god for so wonderful a plan of god coming to communicate with us and may we cherish our family interactions our meetings may we glorify god in our words and our deeds may we communicate the peace and joy of the christ child to others may the lord jesus christ born among us bless you today and all through the christmas season kindly stand as we profess our faith in god
the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful We rejoice that God reveals his closeness to us by becoming one of us. We place before the Lord our prayers with confidence, knowing that the birth of our Savior ushers a new beginning for the world. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the whole church, the Pope, bishops, clergy, religious and lay faithful, that we may recognize how close God is to us, how blessed we are, and learn to recognize God's presence with us each day. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world, for an end to violence and terrorism, that the Prince of Peace may lead all peoples to a deeper respect for life and greater cooperation in overcoming poverty and disease. We pray. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who celebrate Christmas, that our minds may be more aware and our hearts more responsive to all who are in need, especially the poor, the homeless, and those struggling to recover from the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. For this we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all families, that family relationships may be strengthened through sincere communication and an appreciation of each member of the family. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that Jesus, the Word made flesh, may be enable us to begin anew and move to a new level of Christian living. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Kindly pause and pray for your personal needs. For this we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers that we make on this solemn feast of the Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we place all our trust in our Saviour born for us today. May we grow in his likeness and share the good news of his birth with all. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of the 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good, good and the good, good of all, all his holy church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind. So that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help May the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray O Lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our pope and Oswald our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you In your compassion O merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father, our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Saviour of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. On behalf of Cardinal Oswell Gracious, I wish each one of you a very happy and joyous Christmas. 
May the Christ child born today fill your homes with peace and joy. Let not the pandemic and the situation around make us despair. We trust that God will see us through every situation. Happy Christmas to you. We prepare to receive God's blessing. Your response will be Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who willed that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Thank you.